to start this video out with a little bit of chaotic energy because like what is four plus four eight okay we freaking ate on these plats but what's up y'all my name is kimberly b as you can clearly see below and i'm coming to you guys today with the easiest easiest faux lox tutorial ever these literally were like the easiest faux lox i've done in my life thus far so i'm here to show you guys how i did my braiding pattern how i put the actual locks on how i wrap them stay tuned plenty of tips y'all subscribe to my mother's youtube channel because she's that girl she gonna help you get your hair straight and show you how she gets the shit done i mean okay simple we gotta stop cussing okay hey y'all what's up my name is kimberly b as you can clearly see below Okay, so yeah, just briefly running through my products. After work for my basic hair, when I'm doing braids or I'm doing like some type of a protective style, I don't like to put too much in my hair. So I'm just gonna go in with a basic leave-in conditioner and some Blue Magic as well. And in order to do my faux locks, I have some Shining Gem. A lot of people like the red container, but I like this one as well too, because it holds and gives you that sleek look without too much. So I'll be using that. Of course, you got your crochet tool. Might need some water to braid down your hair in plaits. Now straight up to the hair, um, I got this Cuban twist, double stranded style hair. Um, this is in the color number one. So everything I got is in the color one so that it matches. But this is the hair that I'll be using to wrap around the braided portion of my crochet hair. And then for my locks itself, I got this free tress hair. Um, so I got four packs of these. These are the Distress Locks, 22 inches, the color number one um and then they have the crochet hooks already like the loops so all i have to do is loop it on so i don't see myself using all of these packets necessarily um i just went ahead and got four just in case to hopefully like cover everything so you know i ain't gotta run back out to the beauty supply but yeah i got four of these and this is what they look like up close they just got those basic little like you know pretty little ends but i think that they're gonna be pretty long i'm really excited because i'm definitely gonna have some length each of these packs were uh 9.99 each so it's a little bit on the steeper side but i figured um hopefully i'll be able to keep this style up for at least a month and yeah we're gonna rock it out so with nonetheless i'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair we'll get to it all right y'all so getting right to it the funnest part of the process uh honestly like partying is like one of, i feel like really like partying is like the most challenging part of doing your own hair but once you get it done like it's a done deal baby we are smooth sailing so don't give up don't feel discouraged i know sometimes like your arms be hurting and stuff like we're gonna be all right you know if i can do it you can do it too like they said on the everest commercial okay but to start, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have a mirror in front of us and then one in our hand or behind us. Um, as you can see, I use that medium sized wall mirror. I do recommend using a handheld mirror instead. But if you are like me, you like to have like a bigger view, um, you can use like any mirror. Of course, if you have the ability to hold in your hand. Of course, if it's lighter, it'll kind of give your arms a little bit more longevity, possibly as far as like muscle cramping and pain. But anywho getting it done nonetheless um i went ahead and i made medium sized parts when you are doing faux locks you want to ensure that you do not do the tiniest little parts in the world because you will end up with a million and one faux lock braids on your head and you will be you know you'll just be sad you know like you'll really regret it so yeah we're doing medium parts <laughs> and of course as you see i went ahead and i'm just doing basic plaits i went ahead and put some shining jam on my hair in order to gather it up and make it neat and whenever I get the opportunity where I don't have to keep my hands behind my head, I'm definitely putting my hands to the side. And that definitely helps like with, you know, your arms and tiredness. So um, to braid my hair, um, I've just been going around with my rat tail comb. I'm doing it level by level, but I am parting it in a circular motion where like I'm following like the natural shape of my head, if that makes sense, to where I end up with like, you know, this little middle part and i was just so excited and happy and proud of myself for you know parting my hair but of course your parts don't have to be perfect um hopefully this just gives you a gist of my braiding pattern and what i did to get that done 
all right y'all so getting into the process of actually applying these faux locks of course here i got that cuban twist hair the first thing you want to do is actually take the cuban twist hair right out of the pack it already has a little divider for the middle of the hair we're going to take some scissors and we're going to actually cut that in half the reason why is because this allows for quicker wrapping because of the hair is shorter so of course we have our pieces there so i do have like a lot of like little wordy tips and stuff but i promise i'm going through this pretty slow regular speed so that y'all can see and understand first and foremost we're going to take our crochet hook and you're going to take one of those distress locks and literally just put it on there you know put it on there push it to the back second we're going to open up that hook apply it to any section of your natural hair because we're literally just pushing that distressed hair loop onto the braid so as you can see i can move it back and forth i can slide it all i want it's just simply sitting on there okay next we're gonna take that open hook put it under the root and we're gonna slide it through and while it's still open take the end of your natural hair and attach it to the end of the hook okay close it pull it through now you can rewind that as many times as you need to in order to get it um not a problem at all it takes a couple tries to get like a rhythm but once you get your rhythm going you are good okay so now i'm going back with that shining jam i'm gonna go ahead and grab the end of the hair with the shining jam and i'm just tucking that end of my natural hair into the middle of that little loop that we made all right and that's how you attach the faux lock now of course we need to wrap the base because nobody wants to see our braid and as you can see there, I went ahead and I cut that Cuban twist hair even more to make it even quicker, okay? Because I don't need that much hair to wrap all the way down to the end. We just don't, you know? And I'm telling you, it was such a quick process. Like, once you get your rhythm going, I'm telling you, it's so fast. I was done doing this in like, what, like three hours? Which, that's quick to me. I don't know about you. Okay, the braiding process, that that's a whole nother story. But as far as the wrapping process, three hours, girl. Three hours top, okay? So as you saw, I took that Cuban twist hair and you of course want to wrap it around a few times at the base, but I do have a learning opportunity. I wanted to show you guys a better method of applying that wrapping hair. First and foremost, you want to take the Cuban twist hair from the um, bunch that we had just cut and split it in half even more. The reason why, we want to be able to see our parts. We don't want the base of our hair to look like all like fat and chunky or you know even be too tight or to just too much hair in general of course because you don't want to have like hair loss okay secondly as you saw i went ahead and i put that crochet tool right back through the root and i crocheted the wrapping hair the cuban twist hair excuse me through the hair so it just provides a little bit more security um in the long haul as you wear your hair wear and tear you know the wrapping can come apart but i feel like putting it through the root like that it helps it to stay in place a lot longer. Um, right now at the time of me doing this voiceover, I've been wearing my hair for a little over two weeks now. And I haven't had any problems with my hair, like, you know, just unraveling or anything like that. So, of course, as you can see, we see the difference from the first one that I did versus that new one there where I did it with less hair. So I went back and I took that hair down, of course, and I split it in half so that it was a little bit thinner and I rewrapped it and it felt much better, looked much better. I love it, okay? So yeah, you just wanna make sure you don't use too much hair for your wrapping, of course, cause it definitely helps with the look of your hair. And if you ever come across a situation where um, you cut your wrapped hair and you just like, oh man, it's not enough hair to cover up the braided portion of your natural hair, hopefully this makes sense. I feel like I'm like all wordy. <laughs> But yeah, you can always add in an extra piece of Cuban twist hair to keep on wrapping, literally keep on wrapping. And the beautiful thing about this texture of hair is that like you can tw untwist it by like twisting the opposite direction a couple of times. Like you can get the hair to unravel if you like force it, you know, but the beautiful thing, of course, is that you don't have to go in like with any nail glue or anything like that because of the texture. It's rough enough where like it just like catches on to itself. So no glue needed, um, no extra hair glue or anything like that needed. OK, so again, I'm just coming back, updating y'all. And this is the final look. I was so, so, so pleased with this process. 
so pleased with the look of my hair um, I hope that this video has been helpful to you guys as well in your process. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, leave me any questions or comments below. Um, also, rewind the heck out this video. I'm telling you, okay? Like, rewind it, rewind it, rewind it. Um, we got visual learners, auditory learners, you name it, you know. I sound like a damn teacher or something. <laughs> But yeah, like, you know, you know, rewind it if you need to and don't play with me now, okay? This is what the hair looks like up. You can always dress it up with adding like extra adornments and hair pieces. Um, of course, like at your local beauty supply, they have the, um, the gold string, the silver string. So dress it up, you know, it's so freaking cute. I love this style and it looks better over time. As always, thank you again for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.